Hi, this is an exercise that we're going to try to create to show uh, new students and new programmers how to uh, get into programming and how to, how to start a little project. Uh, this doesn't make you a full-fledged, you know, hardcore programmer, but it should give you some exposure and hopefully get you a little excited about learning more programming techniques and more, uh, more abilities here. So this exercise is to build a simple tic-tac-toe game. We're going to do this in HTML uh, with JavaScript, uh, mostly because we don't really require a lot of special tools or any type of special software in order to code in JavaScript and HTML. We can use those uh, pretty much right on our desktop. Now I'm on a Mac right now, but on a Windows machine you can do a lot of the same things. Uh, the only thing you'll really need is a text editor, and uh, you can download a text editor. I like... Uh, I like Text Wrangler. If you go to uh, barebones.com, you can download a version of Text Wrangler. It's a really useful uh, text editor for the Mac. But uh, Notepad++ on the window on Windows is a pretty good text editor as well. Uh, the reason why we need a text editor is because some editors will insert special characters or other things that the when your code is executing doesn't really know how to handle them. Uh, you know, for example, double quotes sometimes are you know, weird characters can be inserted there if you're using something like Microsoft Word or, or Apple's text edit. So we wanted to start off with a text editor, but we're going to go ahead and use uh, some HTML here to build this uh, build this example. HTML is an interesting language. Uh, it's not so much a program language but it's how we can describe the content on a web page so HTML gives us the ability to you know create text and identify how it should be displayed now when we combine that with JavaScript later we'll see we can actually interact with that content um, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up text wrangler and we're going to let's make it a little smaller here so we can see some things we're going to create some HTML tags now HTML tags are just a mechanism to describe the content in your in your web page so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to type a less than tag and then HTML and then a greater than uh, symbol and down at the bottom we're going to close that by typing the less than symbol a forward slash HTML and then the greater than symbol I'm gonna go ahead and save this I'm gonna save this as game HTML. I'm going to wipe out that TXT because we are want to work with a HTML page. And I'm going to hit save. Now I should have this page now on my desktop. I saved that to my desktop so I could find it easily. And if I double click on that, I get a little page here. And it's not altogether very exciting. You know, there's not anything here yet. But we're going to add some content to it. First thing we're going to do is add a body tag. And we'll close that as well. And now if we refresh this page again, you know, just hit the refresh button. Still, it's not altogether very interesting because really all we've done is the basics behind uh, a HTML page here. But if we type in a message and we refresh the page, now we get a little message. So we can see we can start to interact here. Um, but if we're going to build a tic-tac-toe game, you know, if you've ever looked at a tic-tac-toe board, it kind of looks like a little table, right? A little table with three, three rows and three columns. So we're going to use some table tags in order to create our HTML page. The first thing we're going to do is type in a tag called table. It's pretty appropriately named. And after we do that, we'll go ahead and put a row in using a tr tag and then put some data in the table. You know, let's put an x here and then we'll put a o here and then we'll put, you know, maybe an x here, another o. Let's do another o. And then we'll close our table row. And if we hit refresh, you see we have x o o. So, you know, a little bit of content. You can see how we're moving along here. Now, we can copy and paste to save ourselves some time. So, let's go ahead and we will copy these three, or the uh, everything from the table row. And we'll paste that, and paste that, and paste that. Copy and paste is pretty simple. On your Mac, it is just uh, Command C and to copy and Command V to paste. On a Windows machine, you'd hit Control C and then Control V. Now I'm going to go ahead and you know we'll just make this look nice. Let's change some of these X's and O's around. We don't want a O to win, so or X to win, so we'll put an O down here. You know this is going to be our first cell, our second cell, our third cell, and then our fourth, fifth, and sixth in the second row, and then our seventh, eighth, and ninth in the third row. So we want to make sure that you know we don't have any way for X's to win here. Let's go ahead and set or X's or O's to win. Let's set this one to X. 
And then at the bottom here, maybe we'll make this last one an X and see what we have here. Oh, we have a diagonal win for X here, so we might need to change some of these things around. Uh, you know, we'll just leave it for now, but you can see the little board. But there are a couple of problems already I can see. You know, I don't have any type of uh, any type of heading to tell me what I'm doing here. I don't really have any message saying what this is. So let's go ahead and create another tag over here. This one's called H1, and there's also an H2 and an H3. Uh, and we'll say, welcome to my tic-tac-toe game, H1. And then we'll save it again, we'll come over to our page and we'll hit refresh, and there we go. We get a giant header at the top that says, welcome to my tic-tac-toe game, which that's pretty good, but it would be really nice if I could actually see a border around these as well, you know, so I know where, where the actual moves are. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add an attribute to my table tag. And I'm going to call that border equals one. And what that does is it make it creates a border around my uh, pay, or around my table and sets it to one pixel wide. So you can see now I have a border, and I can change that around. I can say, you know, let's say border equals two, and that makes the border a little bigger. Let's say border equals twenty, and that makes the border really big. But let's stick with one for now. All this attribute does is just like an option on this HTML tag that says, you know what, let's uh, let's go ahead and add a border. And there are lots of different attributes that we can get into, all, lots of different options that we can add to each one of these tags. And we're going to add a couple more today in this exercise. But for now, we've got, you know, let's hit refresh again. We've got a start. Um, in the next section, we're going to look at how we can add some style to this so that we can uh, we can then, you know, start to make this thing look like an actual tic-tac-toe board. Uh, if you've got this far, you've made pretty good progress. I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, stop this lesson, uh, but congratulations, you've got an HTML page and you're on your way.